All right, first of all, what was it like your first game against the Eastern Conference champs and particularly against LeBron? Uh, I, think, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, especially the environment here. The fans are great. And, uh, you know, they're playing against one of the best teams in the NBA. So um, we try to step up to the challenge, but unfortunately, you know, we didn't get the job done. Good game, competitive. Was it the turnovers that did you guys in? Definitely the turnovers. So we talked about after the game. I think I had like six or seven. You know, that's way too many. So, um, you know, we just got to learn from it and um, just keep moving forward. How do you fix that specific problem? It's not just you. Everybody in the, I think you had 18 turnovers as a team. How do you fix that? Um, just stop being careless with the ball. I know a lot of mine, you know, at least, you know, we're not forced turnovers. It's kind of just me, you know, making a dumb decision. So, you know, I just got to be smarter with it. I noticed LeBron grabbed you after the game on the court. What did he say to you? He didn't tell me anything. Just a good game and kind of slapped hands, yeah, that's it? Nothing. What was it like playing against him? You've seen him, of course, but to actually play against him, what was that like? Um, I mean, you know, watch him doesn't do him justice. You know, it's very hard, you know, to stop him, you know, at that size, that speed. So, um, like I said, he's the best player in the world right now, and, you know, it's hard to deal with. So just, the way you guys I think so. We were playing fast. You know, um, you know they were scoring. They're tough to stop. But um, I thought we was competing down there on that end. So that's all I could ask for. Would you ask? Tweak the ankle. How are you feeling now? I'll be okay. It's a lot of ice, and I'm um, just compressing it. Did you did you ask end up asking him anything when you were out there or at any point after the game? No. Nah. Yeah. So what happened with you? Did you roll it? Uh, yeah, just you know, kind of rolled it on um, at the end of the third quarter, and um, kind of just ran it off. Give me a thought on this road trip. When you started, this, this was pretty daunting. I mean, a four-game road trip against some tough East Coast teams. You guys finished 2-2, two and two, competitive in all four. Are you encouraged or discouraged by what um, you saw? I'm encouraged. You know, 2-2, two and two, you know, I feel, you know, we had a chance to win all four. Um, but, um, you know, 500 is not bad, so we can go back, you know, to the drawing board and definitely see some positives. Have you thought about that you guys are in a stretch now, starting with tonight, where it might be the toughest four games in a row any team will play all year? At Cleveland, Warriors, at Houston, at Warriors. <laughs> um, pretty daunting. If you, if, did, did, until I laid it out that way, did you even know it was coming? Um, we knew December was going to be big. And, um, you know, it ends, you know, uh, with a lot of challenges. But um, we just got to up to the plate, you know, play basketball. I know you never played with Kobe, but Monday night is going to be a spectacle. Are you looking forward to it? Definitely looking forward to it. You know, everything that Kobe did, you know, not only for the Lakers, but for the game of basketball, it's going to be crazy in there. Uh, so there's been so many moments this season where a couple of you guys had it going, but tonight a lot of the young guys really had it going. Do you feel like this is the kind of potential you guys have that you showed tonight? Um, I think our chemistry is definitely showing now. You know, the fact that we have, you know, 20, 27 games under our belt now, um, everybody's feeling more comfortable. And I'm just going out there and competing. Thank you. Have any moment, did you have any moment of realization that you were playing your childhood idol out there? Was there any moment in particular that stands out to you about facing LeBron for the first time? Um, I mean, I know I was going to play him. You know, I knew this game was on the schedule, and I was looking forward to it for a long time. Do you think this is going to be one of those games though, that you kind of think about, you know, five or ten years down the line, being your first time against him? Um, I mean, I guess. Like I said, you know, I'm a favorite player growing up. Did you did you make any kind of recruiting pitch to LeBron? Can be free because you're the game, the, the <laughs> no. game speaker yourself. You no, nah, I didn't or? say nothing. Okay.